Have you ever wondered about the origins of the iconic James Bond franchise? Look no further than the 1962 film Dr. No, the cinematic birth of the suave British secret agent. In this classic spy thriller, Sean Connery's portrayal of Bond sets the stage for decades of espionage adventures. As you revisit this seminal film, consider this. Is there a particular scene or moment in Dr. No that has had a lasting impact on you? Before we delve into some intriguing facts about the movie, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Dr. No. Share your stories and recollections in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this cinematic classic together. Now, let's uncover some captivating tidbits about Dr. No. Did you know that the iconic introduction of James Bond with the famous line Bond? James Bond occurs in this film for the first time. Or that the character of Dr. No, portrayed by Joseph Weissman, marks the beginning of a long line of memorable Bond villains. These are just a couple of the intriguing details that make Dr. No a noteworthy cinematic milestone in the world of espionage thrillers. So, whether you're revisiting this film or experiencing it for the first time, Dr. No is a timeless classic that leaves a lasting impression. Share your thoughts and memories with us, and let's continue celebrating the enduring legacy of James Bond and the film that started it all. The 1962 movie Dr. No marked the beginning of the iconic James Bond film series. The selection of Sean Connery for the role of James Bond was a pivotal moment in the movie's history. Producer Albert R. Broccoli chose Connery after being impressed by his performance in Darby O'Gill and The Little People. He found Connery's charisma and a memorable fist fight in the film convincing. However, it's interesting to note that there was a contest to find the right actor for Bond, which Connery ultimately won. Six finalists were screened, and while one of them, a 28-year-old model named Peter Anthony, had the look, he lacked the necessary acting skills. Contrary to popular belief, the famous line Bond, James Bond is not the first line uttered by Connery's Bond in the film. He begins with I admire your courage, miss, before introducing himself in that iconic manner. The movie's budget was $1 million, with production designer Sir Ken Adam allotted just 14000 He argued for an additional 6000 to create his now-renowned sets. These facts offer a glimpse into the casting process of the first James Bond film, the memorable dialogue, and the budget allocation for the film's production. Dr. No was a pioneering film that set the stage for a legendary film franchise that continues to captivate audiences to this day. The 1962 movie Dr. No marks the first appearance of James Bond's apartment, a location that would later reappear in Live and Let Die and Spectre. This iconic film also features the famous gun barrel opening, designed by Morris Binder, which was filmed through a real gun barrel with stuntman Bob Simmons, not Sean Connery, who didn't participate until Thunderball. Another memorable scene in the movie is Ursula Andress emerging from the sea in a bikini, an image that has become an enduring symbol in the James Bond franchise. Andress herself expressed surprise at how this simple scene made her famous. These facts showcase some of the distinctive elements that contribute to the enduring popularity of Dr. No. In the 1962 movie Dr. No, Sean Connery's suits were tailored by Savile Rose Anthony Sinclair. Known for his expertise in bespoke suits, Sinclair believed that a well-crafted suit should withstand even rough treatment. And to prove this point, Connery slept in his suit. Remarkably, the suit remained in impeccable condition, emphasizing its quality. This famous film originally had a scene where Dr. No coerced James Bond to contact Felix later, falsely claiming they found nothing of interest on Crab Key. The threat of a less painful death for Bond and Ryder hung in the balance during this tense exchange. Regarding the iconic shower scene with Ursula Andress, rumors suggested it was to decontaminate her from radiation. However, a closer look reveals that she was wearing a nude-colored one-piece swimsuit, not appearing naked as many believed. These intriguing details provide a deeper insight into the making of Dr. No and the meticulous attention to detail that went into the film's production. The 1962 movie Dr. No is notable for featuring Jamaica as a major filming location. This setting is significant because it's where author Ian Fleming wrote several original James Bond novels and short stories, including Dr. No itself. Jamaica was a central element in the creation of the iconic spy character. 
The choice of location in the film reflects the importance of the Golden Eye Estate in the Bond franchise's origins. Jamaica, with its lush landscapes, crystal clear waters, and exotic allure, provided the perfect backdrop for the escapades of James Bond, the suave British secret agent. The island's vibrant culture, tropical beauty, and air of mystery permeated the pages of Fleming's novels, breathing life into the thrilling tales of espionage, intrigue, and romance that have captivated readers and moviegoers for generations. The Golden Eye Estate, where Fleming penned his Bond novels, served as the birthplace of one of the most enduring and beloved fictional characters in literary and cinematic history. It was amidst the tranquil beauty of this Jamaican hideaway that the character of James Bond was shaped, and his adventures were brought to life. As a result, when it came time to adapt these novels into movies, Jamaica was the natural choice for a filming location, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the cinematic portrayal of Bond's world. In summary, Jamaica's role in the James Bond universe extends far beyond the backdrop of a single film. It's a place where the spirit of the Bond character was first conceived and nurtured and where Ian Fleming's imagination found its muse. The influence of this Caribbean paradise on the franchise's origins is undeniable, making the choice of Jamaica as a filming location for Dr. No all the more fitting. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of James Bond and the lasting impact of the Golden Eye Estate in the creation of this iconic character. This is a testament to the enduring legacy of James Bond and the lasting impact of the Golden Eye Estate in the creation of this iconic character. In the very first Bond movie, Dr. No, two Bond girls, Ursula Andress and Eunice Gason, introduced themselves in a way that became iconic. Ursula Andress, playing Honey Rider, said, Rider, Honey Rider, on a Caribbean beach. Eunice Gason, in the casino, presented herself as Trench, Sylvia Trench. When Sean Connery, as James Bond, replied with Bond, James Bond, he playfully mimicked their cadence. This moment is the birth of the famous Bond introduction we know today. It was likely not planned to become a recurring feature at the time. And here's an interesting tidbit, Sir Sean Connery, who played James Bond, is the godfather of Ursula Andress' son, Dimitri Hamlet. Ursula Andress was cast as Honey Rider because she matched producer Albert R. Broccoli's description of an unknown with a new face who wouldn't demand an outrageous salary. Her memorable appearance in a wet t-shirt probably didn't hurt that decision either. In summary, Dr. No not only marked the beginning of the iconic Bond introduction, but also had some interesting connections behind the scenes. The film set the stage for a legendary cinematic franchise. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic world of Dr. No, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection you've forged with this cinematic masterpiece. This 1962 film, the very inception of James Bond on the silver screen, has left an indelible mark on the annals of cinema history. Perhaps you were captivated by Sean Connery's suave portrayal of Bond or seduced by Ursula Andress emerging from the Caribbean waves. Maybe it was the timeless charm of the martini, shaken, not stirred, or the iconic introduction of the Walther PPK that left you spellbound. Dr. No opened the door to a world of espionage, intrigue, and sophistication, inviting us all to partake in the thrilling adventures of MSXS's most iconic secret agent. This is your moment to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Dr. No. Was it the suspenseful showdown at Crab Key, the magnetic allure of Dr. No himself, or the classic one-liners that have resonated with you over the years? Bond has a way of etching himself into our hearts, and this is your opportunity to celebrate that connection. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic voyage with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your participation enriches our collective appreciation for this enduring classic. Keep the conversations alive and let's continue to explore the world of Seven together. Stay tuned for more insights and adventures in the world of film. Until next time, this is your storyteller, 